Today's video is going to be all about sunscreen. I'm going to be explaining some basic concepts and what you should be looking for when you're purchasing a sunscreen. And then I will also be sharing five sunscreens that I've used and enjoyed lately. And I'll just highlight like the pros and cons of each one of them and also show you applications so that you can see like the textures and how each one looks on my skin as well. Hi guys, it's Makali and welcome back to my channel. By now, you definitely know the importance of a good sunscreen. Every single day, it is one of the best things you can do for your skin. Sunlight can be a beautiful thing. We all need to get like our vitamin D and stuff, but it can also be really destructive to your skin and you do need to ensure that you're getting a good amount of broad spectrum protection from both UVA and UVB rays and it will help with like sunburn, uneven skin tone. And it's also the best thing that you can do to prevent like premature aging of your skin. Our skin naturally changes as we get older but the sun does damage it and cause photo aging way fast. A few years ago I used to not use sunscreen regularly because most of the sunscreens that we could get just kind of sucked and they were really chalky and this is actually a sunscreen that's available from a major brand right now like could you go anywhere looking like this so most of them were just not great but as time has passed and awareness of sunscreen has grown we also have such a big variety available now formulations are way more elegant and you can also get many affordable ones even the five sunscreens that I'm going to show you today four of them are in the affordable category of say like 400 to 600 rupee range and then one of them is slightly more expensive but I don't have anything high-end I bought all of these sunscreens from Amazon by the way and I've also partnered with them to make this video I do use Amazon for all of my beauty fashion as well as household needs and you do get original products on Amazon. I also got really good discounts on each and every one of these. I didn't have to pay full price. I'm going to leave links to these products in the description bar below and they'll also be available on my Amazon storefront which is one page where you will see all of these products over there and you can see like details and pricing and stuff in one place. I just want to take a minute to talk about the types of sunscreens which I think it can be a really confusing topic because we see all these terms like mineral sunscreen, chemical sunscreen, organic sunscreen and what do they even mean? Almost all of the sunscreen filters can be categorized into two major types. The first type is chemical sunscreen and is also known as organic sunscreen and the second type is physical sunscreen or mineral sunscreen or inorganic sunscreen. The way that these work are slightly different. A few years ago they used to say that you should only get physical or mineral sunscreens because the chemical ones are not good but that's not true anymore. I know that some of the brands market to us like chemical is a bad word. That's just really a wrong way of looking at things and chemical sunscreen filters now have improved so much. Physical or mineral sunscreens have been known to create that really ghastly white cast that if we're dressing up and we're putting on makeup nobody wants that like chalky whiteness chemical sunscreens don't usually have a white cast and my favorite type of sunscreen is hybrid sunscreen so as the name suggests it does have a mix of chemical as well as mineral filters organic as well as inorganic filters i believe that those formulations just give you the best kind of protection the white cast is minimal or non-existent so you might see some whiteness when you're applying it but usually when you blend it it disappears and it's not really visible also how much spf do you need i would say do not look at any spf under 30. most of the major sunscreen brands are doing like minimum 50 now. Some are doing SPF 70 also. That number just basically signifies how long the sunscreen will protect you. 50 is generally a good number to look out for. Also a lot of foundations and base products and stuff advertise an SPF. Sometimes it's a low amount like 7 but sometimes it's higher like 20 or 30. Please do not rely on SPF inside your makeup products to protect you from the sun because you do need a very good amount of sunscreen on your face for it to actually give you protection so even if your makeup does have sunscreen you do need to use 
a dedicated sunscreen if you want that sun protection. Now I'm gonna share today's sunscreens starting with the most affordable one going towards the higher end ones. So the first one I have is the Dr. Shades Ceramide and Vitamin C sunscreen which is SPF 50. This is a hybrid sunscreen that has a both kind of sunscreen filters. I did see so many good reviews for this that I knew I just had to get it. It just comes in a normal tube with a like a flip cap. Not my favorite kind of packaging. It has a really nice texture. It's not super runny. It is a thicker texture but it does still feel really light when you apply it on your face and you can use your fingers to measure the amount of sunscreen. I don't really do the two finger thing. I just make sure I'm putting a really generous amount on my face. That is what works for me. This one does have a white cast while initially applied. Once you blend it, it does reduce somewhat. And I also took shots of each and every sunscreen three minutes after I applied it. Because as time passes, for most of these, the white cast reduces or disappears altogether. Three minutes is quick. I should have done it after five minutes or 10 minutes, but I lack patience. So you can see a reduced white cast. And actually my camera ended up capturing like a more white look than it was in real life and that's because like sunscreen does give you that little bit of shine and glow i really like using this one it is mildly hydrating and i think i can definitely skip moisturizer when i'm using it if you have very dry skin you might want to use moisturizer separately but most of these double up as a daytime moisturizer also the next sunscreen that i have is glenmark's episoft ac moisturizer with micro encapsulated sunscreen so this one is the only one that's not SPF 50, it's actually SPF 30. This one isn't a hybrid sunscreen also, it's just a chemical sunscreen. This was one of the first ones that I started using when I was forming my sunscreen habit. It comes in that similar like tube packaging with a flip top like the Dr. Shades one, nothing special. But this has a way runnier texture. You might not be able to use your fingers to measure this one because it'll just get all over the place. It's quite easy to blend and also it doesn't really have a white cast. If you have a lot of active acne and oiliness and you feel that the other sunscreens are irritating your skin, this is definitely one that should be very tolerable because it does come from a pharmaceutical brand and this is one that dermatologists recommend a lot also. So if others are not working for you, definitely try this one. My skin hasn't been so problematic now compared to how it was like 3-4 years ago. So I don't think I'll repurchase this one. But I do recommend it to anyone who does have like irritated skin. Maybe you have like a compromised skin barrier or something like that. This is not going to add to your woes. The third sunscreen that I have is a from Face Skin and it's their SPF Juice, SPF 50 Broad Spectrum Protection. This is actually one of my favorite sunscreens and one that I've used the most which is why the tube looks so battered up. I think I'm gonna finish this one pretty quickly and this one is going to be an immediate repurchase for me. It does come in a tube but then when you open it, it does have like a pump kind of packaging which I like. This one is also very runny. The texture reminds me of Episoft only. And it is a hybrid sunscreen. One that leaves a minor white cast when you are first applying it. If I wait a little while, the white cast disappears completely. And I think it looks beautiful with or without makeup. It's just my go-to and the packaging is also really handy if you want to travel with it, keep it in your makeup bag. It is sleek and mess-free. The next sunscreen that I have is from L'Oreal. It's the new UV Defender Serum Protector, the matte and fresh version. So if you have dry skin, they also have another version targeted towards like dry skin that will make you look a little glowy. My skin leans oily in the summer and I think most of us in India have the concern of oily skin more than dry skin. I got this one recently and quickly after using it just a couple of times it has become one of my favorite sunscreens. The formula of this one is really elegant. So it comes in a little plastic bottle, also very sleek and easy to carry with you anywhere. And it does have a nozzle applicator, which is actually my favorite kind of applicator on sunscreens. This is also a hybrid sunscreen that does have chemical and mineral filters. When I was just applying it, I could smell alcohol in this sunscreen, which is not a very bad thing. A lot of skincare products that need to dry up or evaporate quickly, like they shouldn't be too shiny on your face, they add alcohol in it to aid with that like drying up. But if you have 
dry skin don't use this variant use the other one it does also have a little bit of a silicone feel so this one is very very beautiful under makeup in fact i only use this one when i'm putting on makeup because it does double up as a primer also although i am a critical person and i've found something negative to say about most of the other ones this one is close to perfect for my skin type and in my experience. The final sunscreen that I have to share today, this one's pretty famous. It's actually a Japanese sunscreen, the Biore UV Watery Gel SPF 50. This is also a hybrid sunscreen that is a mixture of both chemical and mineral filters and this also does have a nozzle applicator similar to the L'Oreal one that I just showed you guys. I sort of had a mixed feeling when I applied this one. It does say on the packaging that it leaves you with a shiny veil or something like that. This one did leave me extra extra shiny and this did have also some of the most notable white cast from all of the five sunscreens that I'm sharing with you guys and the white cast in this does not really disappear even if you wait 10-15 minutes it reduces but doesn't go away if you look at my shot from after three minutes i really am glowing that is both the actual white cast and the shininess that they talk about like when that reflects the camera makes me look extra extra wide this is also runny and dries pretty quickly and something that you can use for the face and body both i do trust this brand very much but i see myself using it on days that I know I will be outdoors even more like maybe I'm going to some festival or event some place that like I'm gonna be exposed to more sun or I'm gonna go to the beach I would reach for this one for that added level of protection and that added peace of mind it's not gonna be a daily one for me I am curious to try the other sunscreens in this range they do have the aqua watery essence also i just thought that i'll try the gel first those were all of my sunscreen picks for today i do have sunscreen sticks that i use for reapplication although like i'm not yet a reapplication person but i'm trying to get there we don't always form these habits immediately it's a step-by-step -step process if you don't put sunscreen on a daily basis right now don't let that deter you from starting and sometimes starting a new habit can be difficult but it is important and it is something that you'll be thankful for in the long run i'm pretty religious with my face sunscreen and i'm starting to try and build up a habit of using body sunscreen also um so i am testing out some sunscreens just for the body as well let me know if you would like a follow-up video if you have any questions that you think i can answer feel free to leave a comment down below and also if you have any sunscreen recommendations for me so leave a comment if you've tried any of these i would love it if you would share your thoughts in the comments it can be positive negative or anything in between skincare can be really subjective and what works for me may not work for you i'm just trying to provide a frame of reference hopefully you find this useful in some way while it is important to get a sunscreen from a reputed brand that you can trust the quality of filters that they use and you can trust the protection that it's providing you at the end of the day it doesn't really matter too much which one you use as long as you're using a sunscreen thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.